uh, hi everyone i am vinita i'm from india uh, my uh, outreach uh, project uh, is about automatically detecting uh, spam bot registration uh, using machine learning techniques uh, something similar to the google invisible captcha and my mentors are uh, gergo tisa and uh, adam roses white i had two amazing mentors um, so we have uh, seen the google's invisible captcha uh, at many places while using uh, many websites where uh, when you click on a small box uh, we, they can make sure we are a robot or a human being so initially uh, google had uh, captchas uh, which displayed text so right now uh, while creating an account in uh, wikipedia uh, this captcha is shown uh, which is a text which is little distorted and uh, humans find it very difficult to understand the words written in the image uh, because it is distorted but uh, we find that uh, many bots can crack this captcha easily uh, by employing the uh, technical advances in uh, ocr etc uh, so our aim is to create a captcha system uh, something similar to the google's invisible captcha uh, which is very convenient for humans and at the same time it can prevent uh, the bots from creating accounts so uh, we do this by using uh, by building a machine learning model uh, our constraint here is that we cannot use private uh, data which can recognize the user instead we have to maintain the user anonymity while creating the features or while recording the data which the uh, user uses um, uh, while creating the account next slide so the first phase included um, uh, creation of uh, the system where we can collect the data so uh, you must have seen this in wikipedia recently in account creation page uh, so we we used two uh, basic features and variations of it so we depended on the key press information like users will type the username so uh, there will be uh, some features uh, which are displayed by legitimate human users and some features which are shown by bots so we used uh, we didn't use the raw data because uh, that will uh, that will mm, make the identity of the person uh, clear obvious so we use certain stat statistics of uh, key press data such as mean variance uh, kurtosis etc also we used uh, the mouse movement data information also uh, the details of the features uh, can be seen in the schema next slide so we collected data we started collecting data from february um, and uh, while observing the data we there were some quite interesting observations uh, so we found that uh, most bots uh, were active within 3 days of registering like today if you create a bot account the sleep duration of the bots was not much like 70% of the bots started spamming within 3 days and were blocked within 3 days so this is important to us because we can see um, the results of our experiments fast if the bots slept for longer duration it will be difficult for us now another interesting observation is that 90 percent of the bots have been blocked within 18 days of registration also uh, we had uh, information about the accounts registered using the apis and using mobile uh, re mobile registrations uh, but we found that the number of such bot registrations using apis and mobile registrations were very negligible when compared to the accounts created using the web interface next slide so in order to create the machine learning model we had uh, collected a few data in february so we got 126 bot data samples 
and uh, we had obtained larger number of human data samples but we used 183 of them and we used an XGBoost classifier to create a uh, machine learning model. Uh, it gave an accuracy of 58 percentage. Uh, this is significant because we were using the statistical uh, data as features. Uh, we couldn't um, use very uh, obvious features because of privacy concerns. Mm, but this is very promising because now we have thought of uh, ways in which instead of using an uh, aggregate feature, we can use field-wise feature, like using uh, the username fields uh, feature and uh, the email address fields features separately, even the capture fields features. So uh, that should give a better uh, feature representation. Uh, so we have ideas to improve the uh, performance of the model, and we'll be working for it. Thank you. That's all uh, what I've done in uh, this outreachy work. But this was a uh, this was a research sort of work, and uh, there is scope for more improvement uh, for improving the model. Thank you.